So look at this little guy. This is the woman doing it. The one that. Oh, yeah. You see, obviously, snarling, biting at the gloves. Okay. Not a good one. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Once you're doing better with this, this is going to make you a movie star, buddy. <laughs> but you see how, right? So he tried the behavior one time. Yep. Didn't work. And I was like, wait a minute. Yep. This is different. <laughs> right? And watch. She does it three more times. Two or three more times here. Two more of those. So watch the second one. So that first one, very intense, obviously. Yeah. Now watch this next one here. So significantly less intense. Yeah, way quicker. Yeah. The trauma is so real. Nor is that. Huh. Yeah. And then we got one more you'll see. It's not bad up here. <laughs> now he's falling asleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, his eyes are closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's sick of this. <laughs> All right, one more, buddy. Hardly anything. Yeah. Happen. Right? Dang. <clears throat> so... I don't want to make it seem like this is a super quick process because it's mm. absolutely not. No. Right? We're repatterning in <clears throat> these states of mind where like this dog, I believe, is like six, if I'm not mistaken, the chihuahua. Like okay. this dude has been rehearsing this behavior for fucking ever. Yeah. Right? So obviously <clears throat> he's going to try to persist with that behavior. And another thing is there's something in dog training science called uh, called an extinction burst which basically means that as you're removing the reinforcement behind certain behaviors, you're trying to stop something, mm -hmm. that it's not like, I don't know if like linear is the correct word. It doesn't just go from like here to like, doo, yeah. and then it's gone, right? It'll start tapering off. And then when the dog starts seeing, wait a minute, this behavior isn't working anymore, mm. they'll intensify that behavior mm. because they're used to it working, yeah. right? They're like, this usually works, so I'm, I must need to try harder in yeah. order to stop it, mm -hmm. right? So a lot of times you'll see extinction bursts and you'll kind of see it come in peaks and valleys like that before it finally tapers off completely. Yeah. But that video I really liked because I think that shows firsthand exactly how how the process works in a lot of yeah. times of them simply realizing the behavior doesn't work. And it's like, I think sometimes we want these really quick, easy solutions for stuff like that of like, like, okay, well I just correct it one time and it just stops. Right. Yeah. But that's not the case. And I'm not saying corrections are wrong to implement in some of those cases. Mm -hmm. And in sometimes what we'll find is that we'll do this process of removing the reinforcement for a while, mm -hmm. but the behavior in and of itself is it becomes habitual where they're yeah. not even doing it necessarily because of the reinforcement they gain of the person going away. They're yeah. doing it because that habit that they've created of doing it is mm. just reinforcing in and of itself, right? Yeah. So sometimes when the behavior issues hit that point, you do need to add in punishment in order to suppress the remainder of it. But if we're only doing the punishment side of things and we're not solving what caused the problem in the first place, which mm -hmm. is every time these dogs do something like this, we stop, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. 